Hello YouTube, how's it going? Mudcat here. Uh, no ride video this week. I got caught in a heck of a thunderstorm earlier in the week. I might try to put something together out of that. Uh, GoPro seem to be, the GoPro uh, Hero 10 Black seems to be quite waterproof though. Uh, for whoever hasn't tried it out yet. Anyway, I was changing my tires and I got the back, the rear changed out. I went to uh, Dunlop Trail Max Mission and the back is great. Um, I like to do one at a time when I do them. The reason why is because if you, I balance them myself, I have a static balancing stand and if I mess up on balancing like I have before, not get it quite right, I can, I'll, if I ride it, I'll know which one is the problem. So um, I changed the back, the rear tire, and I took it for a ride, rode a couple hundred miles, does great. Uh, no issues with balance or anything like that. So that's done. Um, the front, I come back the next day, I was gonna change it. Uh, I believe it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, and uh, I pulled it off, got it changed, and uh, no problem changing it. Uh, I read where people had a hard time changing those Dunlop uh, Trail Max Mission tires because they're so stiff and they're quite a bit heavier than the stockers. Um, no trouble. Change just fine. Um, I use regular tire spoons. See the tread there? It looks really nice. I really like the sides of this tire. Um, I think it looks really good. Got a wood be up there somewhere. <laughs> but uh, when I had troubles, whenever I went to put it, when I had troubles, when I went to put it back on, the way this Pan America is designed, I'm gonna move you in closer so you can see. All right. The way this front axle is designed is this is the axle, one piece, threads on one side. It goes through the right side, goes through the lower fork, through the, no spacers or nothing, through the bearing, spacer, opposite side bearing of the wheel. Then it comes through and goes through the ABS sensor screws into this side. As you can see, this side does not, I mean, you know, you can pull it down, but it doesn't line up perfectly. This is stainless, this is aluminum. So whenever I went to, to tighten it up, I got a little bit, what I thought to be cross-threaded. So I just stopped and backed it out because I've done that before where I've um, screwed stuff up. So I thought, well, I'll get a, a bolt and run through there and straight run through this side, straighten the threads up. First, I, I was going to do this. So I was going to run this, screw this in from this side and straighten the threads up because it's not threaded all the way through. It's just about maybe two thirds. But the threads aren't long enough to go out the other side. So, because it has a shoulder on it. I thought, well, I'll just get a bolt and run through from this side. It's 24 millimeter by two millimeter thread pitch. I can't get one anywhere around here. So rather than try a bolt, I just ordered a tap. So I got a tap coming, should be here tomorrow, and I'll run it through, clean the threads up, and uh, try it again. So I just thought I'd better stop before I went too far. I have... Uh, I've made that mistake before, like I said. So, uh, it's gonna wait. This and, and all the weight on the axle, only threaded part is this side over here. There's no nut, no spacers, no nothing. It's very odd. I don't know if all of them are like this. I've never seen nothing like it before. And then this fork, the right fork, has a bolt that goes through, and it's split at the bottom, and it clamps this side. So, very weird. 
I don't know, but I'm waiting on a tap. When I get the tap, I'll run it through there, straighten the threads up, and uh, put it back together. But I just thought I'd better stop, and I might have, could have got it. I would have forced it a little bit, but uh, I learned in the past that's not the best thing to do. I, I think about the uh, battery commercial. It might have been Die Hard, uh, where they had the little guy and the big guy, and the little guy is just telling to hit it, hit it. And they go back to their childhood, and yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen that commercial. Pretty cool, though. But I try not to be that guy. So I try to stop before it gets out of hand, and I tear anything up further. Well, I should have it going tomorrow. Uh, maybe do a little video next week, early next week, on the tires and see what I think about them. The back is great. It's great. I really like it. Lots of traction in the dirt. Seems to be really good on the gravel road, better, better than the stalker. So um, gravel road, dirt, and it, it's amazing on the blacktop too. I, I really thought it would be worse. They call this a 50-50 tire. Uh, I don't know if it's 50-50. It might be more of a 70-30, uh, 60-40, but um, I think they're going to work out great. People tend to get, they say they get, you know, 10,000 miles out of these tires. If I can get that, I'll be tickled to death. I just got 6,000 out of the stock tires. Um, so we'll see what happens. That's all I got for you this week. And uh, you guys be careful out there. Be safe. And uh, watch out for yourselves. I'll talk to you next week. Mudcats out. Bye.